Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, your lovely faces, to another video here on the channel. Oh, have I got a fun little story for you for here now. This one is coming from Screen Daily. I have two articles that we're going to look through. And the first one, well, this is the one that got me a little bit like, see, this is what I was talking about in the last video. About people who don't even realise that he was found by a liable trial, not a guilty one. The judge didn't say he did this, it was just a oh, It's just, yeah, by the judge. That's what this means. So we're going to jump straight on over to it. Like I said, Screen Daily. I'm going to spin this up for you so you lovely people can see what we're talking about. So, comment. Johnny Depp shows honorary awards need a rethink. Why is that? Why is that Fiona Lala, or whatever you always seen? Film awards, clearly, are challenging on a theoretical level. How do you judge entirely separate things, united only by the fact they appear on the big screen? And not all of them do these days. It's like pitting a rose against a carrot in a local fate on the grounds they both grow in the garden. Still, awards festoon the film business from Sundance in January to the extended jamboree we now call award season. Festival juries, national academies, critics, even the people choose their awards on a global level. Lots of votes to go around and the majority wins. Backslaps all around. Straight away, this woman sounds like she's very got a lot of pent up aggression. She seems like no one likes her and she knows that. But this column isn't about awards. It's about honours. After lordly strenuous attempts to forefront diversity, and maybe even because of them, the UK's BAFTA made a poorly judged decision to honour Noel Clark this year with an outstanding British contribution to Cinema Award, after this came out and bully surfaced. The award was withdrawn and his membership was suspended. Clark, who has not yet been charged, although police are investigating the complaints, he later stepped down from his own company. It was a cautionary story, complicated by a who-knew-what-and-when subplot. It's rare for someone to come out and be, uh, yes, this is me. Roman Polanski admitted to it, then he fled. Not even uh, Harvey, recipient of a BFI fellowship, later stripped, has made a confession, maintaining his innocence despite being convicted. So, we've seen this now a lot of times. The ones that these people are saying, you know, no Clark, Harvey, Plansky, all these other ones, Woody Allen, they have all been done for doing horrible things because, and to be honest, a lot of them have actually come out and admitted it. They keep throwing Johnny Depp's name in with them. That is completely wrong because Johnny Depp has not been found guilty of doing anything. He hasn't been charged. It's been nothing. Like I said in the last video, they say, oh, well, the English judge, they f he found him guilty of this. No. He said, I believe what the paper wrote. That is all. I could write something in the sun and you could be like, oh, I believe that. Because I wrote it in the sun. That's what people don't seem to grasp. But when you start throwing his name in with the Polanskis, the Allens, it's making people think he's worse than what he is. And that's always bad. And that is what this woman who uh, wrote this this is what she's trying to do she's trying to get people to think on her side you can tell she's 100 percent on her side on ah's side but what she has done here is absolutely terrible you cannot keep throwing his name in with those type of people the subject is fraught and complicated social media vengeance is brutal and watching an internet witch hunt is dizzying Clark's fall from grace was virginious, but look at the anguish involved. See victims Adele's workout, or sorry, walkout at the 2020 seasons of Polanski winning Best Director for an officer and a spy. People feel like they're not heard. Festivals, particularly in Europe, have had to be dragged, kicking and screaming, even to gender parity. So it was a surprise when the San Sebastian and the Karlovy Vary film festivals made the unforced, seemingly random decision to plug Johnny Depp out of thin air and honour him with awards. Wouldn't anyone want to avoid celebrating a person who was found by a UK court in a multi-million pound libel trial last year to have done this? Depp trod the red carpet in 2020 at San Sebastian and Zurich just after the trial with a film he produced. Was that not enough? What you don't want to do as a festival director, surely, is get to a point where you're backed into publicly defending someone and cherry-picking what you choose to validate. Or remind anyone of the sordid, he said, she said, revelations that emerged at the expense of trial between Depp and a UK newspaper group. 
There's not a single honourable thing in Mr Justice Nicole's lengthy judgement, freely available online. That's another thing, because they like saying that, oh, it's very lengthy. Have you read the 129-page actual document? I don't think she has. I think she's just put that out there now, because if it's freely available online, why didn't you put a link to it? We know where it is. We've all gone through it. We've gone through it page by page, which a lot of these people don't seem to realise. That's because they don't want to keep hearing what people are saying. And the amount of people who is defending Johnny Depp is like, this is the truth. What has happened? She did this to him. He has got so much evidence saying that he was the victim. But they do not like it. Because, again, it doesn't go in line with their narrative. He's a man. That's all I'm saying. That's why they've done it. We know this. Everyone knows this. And it's very sad to see because men can be victims too. Are victims too. Surely all these things, you don't want to trigger a chain reaction where someone such as Wim Wenders comes out in Johnny Depp's defence, making it look like the European film establishment, all men in this instance, she seems to hate men, are big on the idea of supporting women but less enthusiastic when it comes to believing them, even when a UK High Court judge does. Yep, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what I was on about. So, having been refused leave to appeal in the UK, Johnny Depp continues to pursue her in the US. The fight is ugly and ongoing. So clearly, there is no need for San Sebastian and Carl Oliveri to jump into the fray by honouring him. It comes across as provocative, at the very least. There were so many other ways to go. How about, for example... Recognising the recently deceased Spanish actress and activist Pilar Badum, mother of Javier, who is in Sebastian title, The Good Boss, a lifelong campaigner against this, as this herself, try to find real honour. Surely not just roll out the red carpet to the millionaire actor who lost his liable case. Yeah, these people, like there she is, you know, she's a chief critic and reviews editor based in the UK. And to be honest with you, I really do think that... Uh, well, I've always said this, when you see film critics like these type of ones, they're the ones who are always failed uh, directors or screenwriters. That's why they don't like doing uh, horror films and smart films sometimes. This is why they like the art house film, because it makes them look more, makes them look more interesting to the public eye. Even though the public eye thinks they're thick as shit. Anyway, moving on. This was another one we had on Screen Daily. San Sebastian to host a workshop addressing gender equality, Johnny Depp controversy. And it goes on to say about, obviously, what they're doing. They're organising a workplace to take place at the festival 69th edition this year, with the aim of exploring issues surrounding gender equality. It does go on to say about, uh, you know, the debate of what it's going to do. But then, obviously, it comes down... It comes after the festival has been hit with criticism for the decision to honour actor-producer Johnny Depp with a Donistista Award at this year's event, in the wake of him losing his liable case against The Sun, after it described him as this, in a 2018 article relating to his relationship with his ex-wife. In view of the controversy surrounding the award going to Johnny, the festival and Heyman wish to expand upon and more deeply discuss the subject, with the participation of the collectives critical towards the award. The statement continued. French actor Marion Cotillard will also receive her own award at this year's festival. And she has worked with him and she actually loves Johnny Depp. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this is done. Because obviously, who was this written by? Oh, didn't this at the top? Ah, oh, so it's someone else completely. But yes, that's what we have, ladies and gentlemen. It's very interesting to see that uh, the first one we looked at, they need to stop putting his name in with people who have actually been convicted of that. Because he hasn't been convicted of anything. He has not been found guilty. There's been no police investigations. There's been uh, police investigations against her, because she did it to her old uh, wife. You know, it's this is what a lot of people don't seem to realise. A.H. is a horrible person. She's only recently unblocked people who can actually, uh, you know, who can comment on her Twitter because she wants to get people and say, look what they're doing to me. Look how nasty they are. She's baiting them. Guys, please do not respond to anything she puts out. That is only baiting you. And if you do respond, even if you try and be a little bit like, well, I'm going to say, oh, well, these are the facts. You're still doing it. She's still won. 
Gotta be careful with that, guys, because someone on her side could come back, say something, and could get into a full-blown row. That's what you don't want to happen. Because when that happens, it's going to show people, like, look, they are horrible to her. We don't want to do that, guys. But ladies and gentlemen, that is exactly what we got for today. Two videos. It is a little bit late. I do apologize for this. But I hope everyone is doing great. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see each and every one of you soon.